countries don't allow genetically modified crops in Germany, um, France, countries, right? France, France as well. Yeah, and the government is able certainly to take measures to stop this from happening, and here they just simply do not. They're more in line with the business side of things rather than the safety of, of the health of the people. How did you shoot this film? What kind of camera did you shoot it in? We used a Sony high-definition video camera that shoots on tape. It's called a Z1U, and it's what they call a prosumer, which is kind of that blend between professional and consumer camera. Um, and then I also shot some of the slow motion footage of the bees on a small Casio digital still camera that shoots slow motion. Isn't that wonderful how you can just go right into producing a documentary film today and you don't have to spend $25,000 or 50000 or more on a camera? Yes, it is. It really is. It was, you know, it's very inspiring the, 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 and, and that, People can, yeah, get such beautiful, you know, mm -hmm. footage with, without this insane costs. How is the film doing? Where is it showing? And I noticed you have a wonderful model you're using to get the word out with people showing it and screening it. Talk about that. Yeah, thanks. We, we um, finished the U.S. version in June, the one that's narrated by Ellen Page, and we've launched our Be the Change campaign. We launched it on August 21st, which is National Honey Bee Day. And we're really encouraging this grassroots movement, which is, um, you know, honoring of the honey bee and, and working together in community. So what people do is, if they're a concerned citizen or a beekeeper or a permaculture group or a gardening group or a women's alliance, or um, they would rent the film, they get a licensing fee from us for a very fair price, and then they put together an event. So we encourage people to have like a Be Inspired meal, to, to host a panel after the event, to really um, bring together a community, show the film, and they can raise money, they charge admission, raise money, keep the profits. The Be the Change campaign really encourages um, community and uh, we'll raise awareness for the person's group and mission as well as funds. And at the same, like we use the film as a tool, a platform to, to raise awareness. And it's people around the world are, um, are showing the film and we're, we've just started. Um, and we're encouraging people to, to watch our movie and, and be the change that they want to see. Have you thought of taking this right into the White House? <laughs> <laughs> or into Congress, I think it would be very helpful to send it to every congressman and woman uh, and every senator. What do you think about that? Yeah, excuse me, I think that's an excellent idea. We uh, feature Michelle Obama in the film and um, the fact that she's started an organic garden. And uh, we're just, you know, we're just starting our outreach. Um, we're a very small hive. It's George and I predominantly, and um, we, we, want, we definitely want to do that. I think that's an excellent idea. I think your hive should get together with Greenhouse. <laughs> and perhaps you could send your film to the head of agriculture that Obama appointed, who's the former lawyer for Monsanto. Mm -hmm. Maybe that would be a good idea, too. Maybe the human element of this and what really happens could be spread out. I think it would be very helpful. So let's say somebody in Los Angeles or Beverly Hills wants to host a screening. And so we rent a space. We license the film or buy it for how much? Or how does it work? If it's a home screening, you yeah. show it in your home and invite up to 20 people. And that's uh, twenty nine ninety five. If you're going to have a screening of 100 people or less and not charge admission you would pay a hundred dollars if you pay if you're going to charge admission and it's a hundred people or less you would the licensing fee is 150 if you're going to have anything above a hundred people then you we would tabulate the the screening the screening fee um so it, it really it really depends you can have a small screening or a big screening and uh 
partner up, find a sponsor, uh, really create a shindig, you know, have a silent auction. There's all, you know, it's endless. Um, But it's all about community and, and raising awareness because a lot of people just like we didn't know, don't know the, the importance of the honeybee. And then even if they do, you know, we stress to be the change. We really, there, there's sacrifices that need to happen in order for change to occur. And it's, it's, not, it's often not easy. Um, but, you know, like we're all in the kind of like nine to five uh, rat race and people will go to Trader Joe's and you have to make an effort. You know, like I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to contribute to, you know, buying, lo- buying food that's imported from Puerto Rico. You, you have to make a conscious effort to eat organic, to eat local organic. Um, it, it takes effort, but it, it does make an impact. Definitely. I went into a new market called Sprouts about a month ago. And I asked them, do you have genetically modified food and can you show me so I'm not buying genetically modified food? They said, what is it? (laughs) They had no idea. But they did have at least an organic section. What you're saying is so true to buy organic, to be the change. I notice you also talk about bee-friendly gardening on your website at vanishingbees.com. Talk about that. Well, one of the great, I mean, it's interesting because you were talking about bringing the film to the attention of the government and one of the things we like to encourage people in, 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 is that we don't have to wait for the government to make these changes that exactly. have the power to make a difference in their own lives um, and certainly planting gardens, home gardening you can grow f- you know, fruits and vegetables of your own, save money it's an incredibly beautiful hobby it's good for your health just to be outdoors and it beautifies the land and also you know, provides food for bees and all of other pollinators, butterflies and hummingbirds or any kind of other, you know, pollinators that are out there. And they're all kind of, we focus on bees, but hummingbirds and bats and monarch butterflies and all these other pollinators are all in jeopardy. Um, and another little piece just on the uh, home screenings, one of the wonderful things about it is that instead of just going to sit in a movie theater with a bunch of anonymous strangers, you know, these are people who are concerned, and these home screenings and event screenings, this grassroots screenings, brings people together in a way that connects them um, and can allow people to discuss making a difference and doing something in their community. I think that's the most important thing. And by the fact that they're arriving, they're expressing a mutual concern. And there's a receptivity to learn, which I think is critical. One is to acknowledge that there may be something amiss and then put yourself in a position to receive new information. I love that about the model also. And then for people to be involved that are connected to what's happening and are honoring their connection. I also wanted to clarify that the reason I talked about bringing it to government wasn't so much because I felt the government would do anything one way or the other, but rather... I felt that it was critical to hold the government accountable for having the knowledge and not being able to say, we didn't have the knowledge. Well, we have the knowledge and we're still going ahead with whatever we're doing. So it's more to transfer the accountability and to potentiate doing something about it, but not necessarily waiting. But I really appreciate your model. I wanted to bring something up that I I recently showed the film in Montreal to a couple of people and... um, the, after the fi- after the film, one one person was very distraught and uh, really didn't think on a small scale any it would make any difference. And and I wanted to I encouraged him and and that it all we can do is take care of ourselves and our immediate community. We 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 can't you know we ha- can't have these control issues that and question the bigger scheme of whatever is happening in in the universe. But we can make a difference in our lives, and that does count, and change occurs one step at a time, and that even though the honeybee population is collapsing, our monetary system is collapsing, all these different, you know, archaic systems are collapsing, who is to say that that's not a good thing? And unfortunately, most of us humans change when 
a calamity occurs in our lives.